What's up everybody? This is Zach with Veteran Construction. Uh, we're on this wall here and I just want to show you guys how to get and uh, things didn't work out so great. So I'm coming over here and we're going to find out what they did wrong. We already pulled everything down except for the starter. I think that we think that's got a little something to do with it. So we're going to go about doing things you know, and covering all steps of this process to make sure we're correct. There's going to be a lot of different things in this process. So uh, stick around real quick and we're going to show you exactly what that is. James, why don't you hold this real fast? Just wherever. Yep. And make sure they can hear me. So you can stand back a little bit if you want. Um, don't matter though. Should have put a cushion under this. It ain't going to hurt it though, is it? Nope. Yep. All right. So we're just pulling down from our uh, from our F channel to get this, con it's not, it's not just a control line. Okay. A lot of people will they'll, they'll call that a control line. What that is, is this line right here is coming around from this corner. Let's show them that this is our side that's been done. Okay. This side has already been completed, right? So what we did was we took our speed square, picked a rib, squared it around and then we we uh, pounded this nail here and that's how we figured out our line we've got a level line coming through we we did this pull down from our f channel to that mark it's like nine and seven eighths and we're gonna hold on hold on john i gotta i'm gonna show them what's going on with that get back down real quick so we got nine and seven eighths here and here so what we're getting ready to do basically so this line lands right on our rib right which is um this is double four the siding is double four it's camden point good panel all right which means this ribs four inches and this ribs four inches so it's eight inches total so basically with it being eight inches the number that lands on this line has to not only be a multiple of four but it's also got to be a multiple of eight because we have to have a full piece land uh, land right here. We want to uh, make sure our line is going to meet up with a full piece. So this needs to be 88. We've got 89. So basically our starter wasn't hung correct. So that starter needs to come up a little bit. I'm not sure how much of it we got. We're going to be able to move up. It looks like pretty close to an inch. We wrapped this aluminum under here to hide the... Uh, the ugly bottom on this old T111. And we should be able to get that to come up a little bit. And then I've got, I'm gonna pull a line over here and then the string line's over there, right? Uh, let me grab that. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring that with me. Yeah, so we're gonna just, actually we don't really need to string a line. I was gonna do a string line to see how level this really is because our soffit's a, the soffit fascia was a little cattywampus and we weren't exactly able to snap a line all the way through because of these windows here. But I think it's, it's going to be fine. As long as we pull nine and seven eighths, make a little line there. I'll bring the little level with me so I can square that around. And then we'll have something. It's all right. We'll have something to go off of. I don't know what this is. We're gonna pull nine and seven eighths here. Perfect. And we're gonna pull nine and seven eighths over here. All right. I should probably pull them a little bit closer because I got the little level with me. Throw one in the middle here too. Then we're gonna have something to pull from here. So, here, I'll just put it on the top. A little easier to see for me anyway. 
that's a little out of level. Let's try this line to this line. It's a little out of level too. Oh, it's because that window is a little high on that soffit. Yeah. Okay, so this one's going to be the actual number. We're just going to level over from that. Okay. Damn, I need a bigger level. Come on now. This tri bolt, this tri bolt uh, is throwing me off. It's not even close to level. So I'm sitting here reading all this crazy shit. All right. So basically, the only thing that's going to do, because my number's a little different from when I, when I pulled down, see how it's like a half inch different? Well, this is running level like we want our... Uh, let me double check it just like we want. Yeah. Oh, there goes a the whole piece. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the only difference is it's just going to be a little bit different in our upper J there. Um, by the way, if you guys see this little corner here, that's these aren't supposed to be cut like that. We'll make it work. But those are supposed to go all the way up and the next one's supposed to be 45 over. So, all right, let's see here. Now let's uh, pull up from our starter and let's see where where it was a little hard to do now don't know where to adjust it because damn shit's gone here same old shit there we go all right so basically we need to hook this and this needs to land on 80 well not 88 because it's a little higher on this side but it needs, oh yeah, it is 88. So yeah, we're at 88 and three quarter here. So basically this starter, yeah, the starter needs to go up pretty close to three quarter inch the whole way. So here's what we have to do for that. Take a step back, James. Hey, John, do you mind getting us some more starter over here? Thank you. stages in the way that's all it is <laughs> all right so we're only going to be able to snap a line for the top of our starter to see where it goes so let's measure that two and three eighths <laughs> So, 88 minus, my 88 minus 2 and 3 eighths is 85 and 5 eighths, right? Yeah, if you could, that would be helpful. Here, will that just stay down and reach me? Uh, on your left. The furthest mark on your left. Whatever that works. Uh, uh, yes. Make sure my tape's straight. So we're going to mark 85 and 5 eighths. Um, all right. 
Yeah, it's real close on our bottom there. But, so look, I'm going to do three quarter because that's an eighth of an inch. Oh, why am I yelling like my mic getting right on my chest? All right, I'm going to do uh, 85 and three quarter because an eighth of an inch is nothing in vinyl to make up or to lose. So um, that way it makes it a little bit easier for us to snap our piece into our starter because this metal is really close to the bottom and our lip's going to hit it. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to kind of screw us a little bit. James, why don't you hold this one for me? So we're going to do 85 and three quarter. Yeah, that'll help us out here too a little bit. It's pretty much exactly the same reveal. All right. Um, when I say that, I mean uh, for the two numbers I just pulled. I looked at where 88 falls. And it's pretty much the same. So I'm going to go ahead, snap a line right here. John, uh, can you make sure that stapler's ready for us? I just found my chalk line yesterday. Someone dumped a bunch of blue in it, and the nose is missing. Gotta love my life. Jesus Christ. All right, I'll just tie it. I was trying to keep the nail on it yesterday. The nail fell off somehow. It's fine. Good enough for what I need it for. Push that towards the wall. Make sure your string's tight to the wall. Great. Gonna love that. Look out, bud. Here, you want to hold that to my mark I made down there? You see? Where are the two? You see that? Yeah, what do you mean? There's just one mark, right? Oh, no, it's the one closest to me, kind of. Pull tight. Mm -hmm. Can you pull tighter? Yeah. Wrap it up and go. Good? A little better. All right. This thing, this thing's darker. I was using it yesterday. It was making a pretty dark line. Yep. All right. Of course, I put a. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, I got the side puller. It don't work. Oh come on now. God. All right, so that's our line for our starter now. And it should be an eighth inch off of our line, but that's nothing, like I said. So let's shoot that on. You wanna get a little closer, James? I've got some in my pouch actually, yeah. Wanna toot, wanna, wanna toot it? Make sure you leave that line showing. And we're gonna keep this starter a little bit away from the corner. Yeah. Yeah, you're going yeah. through metal to metal. You're going metal on metal. So that'll happen. Here. Am I on? It kinda looks like it, right? I think we're still over the right. No, it's just metal. It's going through metal. It's fine. We're gonna we're gonna hand sink these also. Oh, is there a nail here? I didn't get a staple.
There we go. Now she's holding. All right. For some reason, a couple bent in the beginning, but none bent after that. Stuff ain't going nowhere. Sometimes I'll add a hand bang here or there just to... Secure it. I think we got enough, James, that it's not going to screw us either. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> I think that little eighth I gave it should help out some. You guys can sometimes give these a little bend out. You won't fight it as bad. You put this one a little close. It's fine, I got it. You got that piece? Got that. Ah, oh, don't show that. <laughs> you want to grab that right out of those flowers? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Super crazy guy. Good. Looks good. Put one on this end too. <laughs> nah, I won't skip it. It's fine. We got one curl out right here though. All right. <clears throat> Ready for our first piece, uh, John? So, well, let's double check our numbers now. Phone started acting up. Last thing I said was let's double check our numbers now. So, hooking the bottom of the starter, we should be almost exactly 88 on our line here that's that's where we want our mark going pretty close we're at 88 and a quarter so this is really good siding that can easily be worked up i mean in no time at all really we could probably work that Work that out of our first two rows if we wanted. But let's check this side. Hopefully it's pretty close to 88 and a quarter as well. Exactly 88 and a quarter. So now we're really, really, really close to our line. We were at, uh, I think 88 and three quarter, which you don't wanna try to stretch that. You don't wanna do that. And even if we did, uh, get just a, uh, just a touch short of this line, which I don't think we're going to, then we're going to be fine. And what else we can do to really help these pieces meet up, let's say, for example, uh, and you, the video might still be going. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen with this video. But as you can see, it's going to be one of these pieces here that's going to come across and have to meet up there. So basically what we're going to have to do is let's say our seam, our, our, the top of our siding is running somewhere over here. We'll pull down. You know, we'll make sure we're going to be making sure this entire time that our reveal lands on this. But what we can do is we can add like an inch and a half, whatever, whatever this is. Inch and a half from the reveal. Nine and a half tall. Yeah, from the reveal to the flange. And what we'll do is let's say this landed perfectly on our 16 or something from here. 
It pretty much almost does. So let's say that line I made was exactly where our reveal goes. We'll go an inch and a half, pull up and measure an inch and a half above that. Make sure everything follows, snap it through. We got to get that one to line up on this. And all these two pieces, when they come and they connect over here, and they're going to need to, when they connect above this ridge, they should both be on that same line. So that's why there's there's so many steps to double double checking yourself through this. And that's that's what happened is maybe one or two steps got missed. Maybe one person was getting too rammy. You know, a number of things can happen and really screw up your whole side, especially with these uh, these angle cuts right here. So you're going to be throwing these angle cuts in here. And when we get to them, I'll show you exactly the mistake a lot of people make. The, the piece has to relax in there. It can't be forced because for some reason, this long angle, you can manage to stretch the hell out of it. And this, this you'll see it starts to go like this. It starts just working its way up. And before, before you know it, you got, you got like four inches here and you got two inches over here. And you're going to have this cocked window. So, all right, would you guys start with the full piece or what? John, you ready to send up some, some of these, uh, some of these pieces here? James, yeah, We're, well, let's set it over on that corner because they got my mic. Set it all the way in the back, the back of the ridge, in front of the driveway. All right, it's recording through audio, we hope. Dude, it's so time for a you-know-what. Hey, watch your hammer, bud. Blow, blow, this is jerky in this can. <laughs> we don't promote tobacco use on uh, my YouTube channel. It says no tobacco whatsoever in it. Mmm. I just like to let this jerky... I'm still screaming like I, got, like I got the camera far. I like to let this jerky sit right in my lip for about 30 minutes before I swallow it. Boycub, get on that ladder real quick and help him with that corner. Oh, we're right in. I'm sorry, bud. Dude, this went right in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give it to me now. Give it to me now. I think I'm allowed to sing songs terribly. I just can't sing the real songs, or I just can't have the real songs playing. Now, when we get to this point, we really hope that the fundamentals play a big part, you know, that we make sure our pieces are locked before we actually drive a nail because we can do, we can do three hours of prepping properly and have one, one whack off drop the piece of siding, nobody notice, and we get screwed when we get up to a window and gotta tear it all down again. <clears throat> Where's the next, uh, boy cub, run and grab our next pieces. All right, what were you doing, a two foot stagger? Yeah. Let's roll, come on. Oh, you got it already? Is that our third piece? You want me to keep up with Brad with the tie back up there? Huh, yeah, yeah, we got, it's a three man siding crew here, we're good. Golden like a shower, bud. Get on out of here. Go on, nobody wants you around, dirt. Golden like two showers now. Ba bam! Locked in, slides. My boys weren't, they weren't uh, making sure their pieces were locked in and double checking that it slides. And they kept, they dropped like two pieces after I already yelled at them once. So I made them, every time they locked in a siding piece for the entire day, they had to both say out loud, locked in, slides. Love douche nozzles. They don't screw up no more though. Oh, you guys did a little falsinator? Yeah. I hate falses. I hate falses. All right, give me a, that's probably it. Your first one right there on the concrete, right? Here, you need, on the bottom, yeah. On the bottom, you need like roughly 53. Yeah, that looks like it.
little bit long. Oops. Yeah, we're looking good still. There she is. Oh yeah. Can you uh, come to me? Right there. Stop. That's all you got? That's all I got. I can move this one out a little bit off the corner. Uh, yeah, probably. There you go. Uh, just a little bit. That's good. That's it. Hell yeah. That's beautiful. Well, they were doing forcing up though the whole time, so they might work. Yeah, yeah, some of them might work, some of them might be too short. Depends how you guys had them cut. They were all long, so. If anything, well, if if anything they'll be just right? Yeah, if anything, they're going to be just right now. Just drop it this is. Is this where you had your. No, this looks right. It's either that or one of those right there because we've got a couple of angle pieces right there, too. Looks good. Hold on, go to you a little. Yeah, you wanna. There we go. All right. Where do you want it? Right about. Well, that's catching the edge of the siding. We can go over a little bit if you need. Huh? You can go over a little bit if you need. Uh, no, I like it right there. All right, that's perfect. All right, now James, let's tack this real quick. Just put one nail in it. All right, now, hold on now, James. Let's do, uh, this is the most, this is the most important part. We did all of our prep work to make sure we're going good. Yeah. Now we need to make sure we're hanging and we're both hanging at the same, uh, pulling up the same, and that our numbers are staying the same before we get too far. So you're gonna see us constantly checking ourselves. You have to keep checking yourself. Hold on, James, pull up. I'm right on the money. What we're using to cut these angles is a grinder. Now I've got a mark here. I can check this number too. Okay. Looks like I'm running a little high on this side, which is very common when you get this uh, angle in here. It's easy to let that run high because it'll move. So just give that a little tap down. Also, one very, very important thing. When you have uh, these grooves here inside, I'll bring this. Uh, I'll bring this little piece over to you, real quick. Ow! So all this stuff wipes right off. This uh, stuff usually we'll hit it with a hose. So let me see in the camera if you can see this. Yeah. Okay. So when you have this piece like this, right, and the J channel goes here, you have that water running down. It washes down. And it runs down that J channel. If these are too tight, if they're actually touching the J channel, water will run in the back of this and it'll run until it finds its way in. So you have to be very, very careful. And it'll do the same thing here. It'll run, it'll run down here and uh, it'll come out of these weep holes, which isn't too bad. But when you get it in here sometimes, if you don't have the proper uh, house wrap and uh, flashing on your shingles and everything like that, it can get behind whatever flashing they have, and, and that can be that can be detrimental. So you guys have to be careful on how tight you actually put these into that J channel. It needs to really be floating just a little bit. Only an eighth inch that's fine. I like that. What do we at our line here? Oh yeah, we're getting close. 
should be on 56 there. That's a multiple of four or a multiple of eight. So we'll be pulling up. Yeah, I need I need more off the top because I'm touching. Yeah, and we ain't got the gap here. So. Okay, let me see. hold on, hold on. Let me see where I'm at on this bottom here. Oh yeah, just more off the top is all I need. No, from straight from the bottom. I made a mark on the uh, on the upper bump on the lock. Go go from there to nothing all the way down to the bottom. Well, uh, we got some full full pieces we can slap up right here, James. And then we need another full, right? No, it's two fulls then the window. So we need one more full uh, laid up. Here, let us snap this in, and then I'll grab that from you. All right. So close, James. We're like right on that freaking mark. A little bit of a stretch. It's, a, it's literally my nails almost in the same exact hole, just so you guys know. Okay, this side's still a little low. What do you got to the bottom of the jay? I got 13.58. Yeah. Here's your rag back, John. Put the level on, on that window. Dude, So we're fine there as much as I can get out of it. Almost right there. Almost right there. We're close. Be close enough. We got anything here that works? So close. All right, just cut them down that window piece. We're gonna remove. All right, I don't know how much video space I have on my phone, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill this for a little bit until we're at this transition for you guys. I don't wanna run out of film time and not have any way to film this for you. So um, you guys see everything we did, the steps to taking to make that look, uh, or to make everything match up. You have to be very careful because it's really easy to make these, uh, uh, this, this little rake run or whatever you wanna call it, move up you know with the 412 rate cut on it it's easy for that to make its way upwards so you guys have to be very aware of that we're gonna have to be very aware of that on this side um 
if you're curious, we don't have that side over there where the orange ladders are. We don't have that sided yet, but it's okay because everything dead ends right into that chimney. So we have a dead end spot. Therefore, we came around, we worked everything from the back of the house, matched the corners up all the way over there by uh, where those picnic tables are. Okay, I guess that's kind of separate. Then we started everything here on the deck. Everything's gonna get jade anyway. So we can uh, make our starter from wherever we want and that'll also go around the back of the house and dead end around the chimney. Um, so right here, you know, we're just making sure our corner is matched here, uh, works out right to our line. So uh, basically we're just, we're just running with this side, working our way around the chimney rather than a lot of times on a house like this, um, you'll, you'll start on one side, for example, maybe the back or whatever, or the front. Usually you want to work around to this side. This is usually my last side that goes up and I'll laser the starter on or whatever, whatever I have to do. But uh, that way you've got a corner to go to from there and a quarter to go to from there. And usually you can just snap a line right across. We've got windows in the way and things like that. So um, this one's just a little bit different than we're used to hitting, but we're making do with it. And uh, I'll get you guys squared up when we get over here and you guys can see how it turned out. Thanks for watching everybody. And most important of all, you guys know what to do. Hit that dang like button, smash the ever living daylights out of it. Hell yeah. All right, so I'm gonna explain real quick what I'm talking about in this video about how this, uh, can you zoom in on this end here, James? Cause look, we're gonna keep it right here, right? Now, if you watch, this piece is completely level to this line, right? Now watch what happens. Like we're, we're, we're tight here, but as we slide it, right? To make sure it's in, look what happens. See how it's easily to rise off that? You know, and even if you wanted it here, this can rise right above there. And especially if you're constantly picking up over here, making sure it's nice and locked. Well, when you do that over here, you get a lot more grab, a lot more movement. So if you're not paying attention, that can really cause a lot of trouble. So you'll see as this video goes, goes on that even we're having, st we're still running into that problem, even though we're aware of it. So again, as you slide, it can lift up real easily in that corner there. All right. <laughs> Let's get it, son. We're gonna hope and pray this works out first try on camera. Oh no, catastrophe striking. 15 seconds into the video. He's garbage, he don't know what he's doing. Don't listen to him. <laughs> All right, so this number is 55 and a quarter. But as you see, I'm putting my tape right against the butt. We have to have a low overlap. So what you gotta do is add two and a half inches. So 55 and a quarter and two and a half, 57 and three quarter. That's the start of our angle. 57, three quarter. Right in it with the lefty. Okay, so that is the start of our angle. So what we'll do is, we're gonna lose this piece, watch. James, hold me in that corner real quick, hook me. Hold me on the bottom side of it, yeah. You good? Yep. All right, so we've got 63, I would say 63, right? Yep, 63. All right, so 63. Get me out of there, get me out of there, hurry up. What the hell? Come Go on up. now, James. Go up with it. You got it, buddy. Oh, oh thank you. What was our number? 63. Yeah. Okay, so 65 and a 65 and a half. Ah, shoot. That don't work. Here, let's just see what happens real quick if I put my pattern on this. I know it's going to go real close to the dang to cod, so I'm just going to throw it right here. 
All right. Here's what we'll do. Let's run our tape. Come on now. We'll just run our tape inside of here for however long it needs to be. And I know roughly where my number was that I was looking for. Let's say 26, 26 and three quarter. Yeah, that should be fair. If anything, it'll be on the short side. I can make one extra cut. 26 and three quarter up my angle. Uh oh. Yep, that's right up in the shit. It's literally right at the point. <laughs> so. Right up in there. Might even have to take a smidgen out of this lock on the next one. So let me just double check the total length of this angle. Make sure it's about 26 and uh, it's not 26 and three quarter. Let me put the mark on this. I'll put the mark on my pattern then. And then I will look for that. I'll transfer that down from here. Okay, so we're right, right on. So there's, there it is. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly where it was. That corner extends past a little deeper inside of this channel that I can't see. James, where's that other, uh, where's that other, um, you know what I'm talking about. Better? Yeah, the other one, bend. Oh, it's right here. The box got moved on it. All right, looking like some rookies. Just don't know how to set up a proper cut table for roofing. Okay, so I'm gonna run this right where my mark goes. And we're gonna try it right here. Okay. Looks pretty dang good to me. All right, let's run it. All right, it's all over. We'll wipe it later. <laughs> Moment of truth. You want to snap from my side, slide your way? Let's just go right here and then both kind of go for it. I don't think it's going to work, this one. <laughs> oh, yes. Mam it up. Well, it looks like this piece is having trouble locking over here. From that end, that don't make no sense, though. Yeah. It's and now it's locked. There, yeah, I was going to say, it really makes no sense. Yeah, no, that's just an illusion. Okay. Okay. Can we go your way just to here? Yeah. Nice effort. You like it? All right, let's just tack it. Let's double check our number real quick. Make sure we just didn't force it and that's why it worked, you know? Yeah. We, we might need to make an adjustment. Hey! Turn that radio off! Turn the radio off! Thank you. I think we're a little, a little high right here. What are you measuring? What's your number? I got, I got 24 on this end. 24 right here. 
I got 23 and 5 eighths here. 23 and 3 quarter right here. I think it's just a center uh, pull down measurement number. Let me stand back and just look at it. Yep. Sometimes you just gotta look at it. It don't look like a tie to me at all. No, it is raisin. I gotta take just a little more out of that peak. Okay. Yeah, it is. There's just a little hump here. Yep, your side's touching. My side is not exactly touching, but. So it'll be a little bit out of my side only. Uh, yep. It'd be my side only you want to cut out. Well, it looks. My side to go down, ain't it? Because your side's not touching on the peak, right? No, it's close, though. So well, on the peak. Let me see. Yeah, we're rubbing at the peak. Uh, oh, yeah, on, yeah, on yeah. My side, so we want to take a half inch out from my side down. All right. And that, that should let it flow. Okay. Oh, I got a nail in here. There it is. Yeah, that works good for me. Okay. Now let's tack it and look at it again. Yeah, that's good. You're below it now? Yeah, I'm below that nail. I bet you were good. Let me uh, just put one in here. Just kind of hold this down a little. There we go. Let me look at it. We're on the money on the line, 24. Oh, and it's dead straight, dude. We're on the money on the line. Perfect. Woo! Dang, she looks good. Two tries on, two tries on this piece ain't really that bad. Come on now. Come on now. Well, bye. Okay, we can do a two foot off, right? Yeah. Yeah, do a two footer? Yeah. Well, don't do that. Continue it the opposite way. Do a six footer. Yeah, do a six foot. That way it keeps that stair step kind of going in that weird little way. 22 and a half. Six footer is not going to be. Okay, a three footer will make it to where that's just gone. Boy Cub, somebody needs to be on the ground now. You got a piece of scrap laying around? Uh, 20 uh, with a factory left. All those. Are those cut for something? Let me double check that number. I feel like I forgot it. 
That was right. Where's my snips? Where'd mine go? Oh, they were right behind me. For anybody who wants to say anything about me not using a square, let me just show you this real quick. It all gets hidden in the J, the, or the corner post. Corner post is like seven eighths. That ain't terrible. You know what I mean? It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for something that's going in a J or a corner, Yeah, I recommend people start, um, that they start off using their square, at least until they're really comfortable cutting siding and using snips or whatever. Like, I don't, I wouldn't expect a rookie to do that and stay correct. I mean, there's still some skill to it. And then let's check out our corner. Looks like we're just running a smidge high. There we go. That means we should be just on our mark. Yep. All right then, smooth sailing from here. We might make just a small notch in that just so it fits nice and tight. I'm gonna blast this out. But you guys see now how important it is to have the right numbers to start off with and to double check yourself, triple check yourself and make sure you're right. That way you don't have to tear down, you know, half a side like we did, you know. I have like $60 an hour on the clock before tax, so probably, really probably about $80 an hour on the clock. And they wasted four hours yesterday dancing around. They didn't check themselves. Even I tried to check them. It seemed like they had it checked, like they didn't want to hear too much from me. It's like, all right. And I went and I started hanging this uh, softening fascia behind you and working on bird boxes. I walk over there, crooked as all hell on that corner. And I was like, what's going on? That was at four o'clock. So, I mean, there goes $320 I'll never see again. <laughs> Always pay attention. Yeah, buddy. Damn it, boy cub. I'm squeezing your head. 